Hi, it's Nicola at Forever Young Autobiographies and welcome. Today we're talking about feature articles, how life stories can be written super fast. Now stay tuned, I've got a freebie for you at the end today if you're writing a loved one's life story. But if you're new here, welcome. Forever Young Autobiographies is where we learn to write life stories for family and friends so that unique memories can live on for future generations. I'd love for you to follow, subscribe and like the show. Feature articles. Now feature articles are a really great way for you to record, celebrate and share life stories. Now I've written many myself as a print journalist and as a life story writer over the years and I know that they are really powerful and transformative. They have a real effect on your reader. I've recently put out a new guide which is the feature article guide. It's writing a life story as a feature article. And today I'm going to talk a little bit about the advantages of writing a feature article life story over a full-blown book, whether that's an autobiography, a memoir, a biography, or a life story project. So let's jump in. The number one most obvious advantage I would say is that writing a life story feature article is really quick. It's so much more quicker than writing, say, a 40,000 word book. Now, this could take a really long time. And I know because I've just done this with my grandmother, helped her write her life story. So there's a lot of time investment in writing a full blown book. But when you're doing a feature article, you can pretty well write it in, you know, in a day, a few hours a day and put it together, you know, not much longer. So that's number one, really cool. There's, it's just a lot less to do. So that would be the number one advantage of doing a feature article over a book. The second thing is it's really great if you're a little bit nervous at writing. It's a great introduction to getting into life story writing. Now, I'd probably say, look, if you're starting out with a book, some people are uncomfortable. They're like, oh, I'm not a great writer. They don't have the confidence yet. So doing a life story article is, isn't particularly hard. In my guide, I give you sort of some question and questions that you answer, and that's the format of the article, questions and answers. And you know, I specify you got your key memories and you got some key facts. You're just weaving those in to say three to five um, sentences per question. You're answering them with three to five uh, sentences. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> question, answer, question, answer. And when I'm saying these sentences or these little paragraphs, they're only going to be, uh, you know, just simple and short. They're not nothing complicated. So it's really an easy way for you to jump into the writing process. Now, the third reason that uh, life stories are probably easier than writing a book is there's just a whole lot less moving parts. When you're writing a autobiography book, you have, say, the cover. You have to decide what's going on the cover. Then you might have the title page and the print where it's all printed. You'll have an index. You might have a, uh, a welcome. And then you've got all the, the title chapters. You might have some spreads for photos and then towards the end you've got your back matter you know your epilogue you might have an index appendices it goes on but when you are doing a feature article basically you've got to put in some headlines a lead headline a secondary headline some pictures half a handful of pictures with some captions and you're done so headlines cap pictures and captions the end. <laughs> There's not much more to do people. It's really, really easy. And in my guide, I even give you suggestions of which pictures to select. You know, there's a bit of a hit list of key photos from, from your life that you can include into the article and also what facts you need to put in to make a really great caption. In addition, I've got some examples of some layouts of feature articles to give you some inspiration. And to make it super easy just to plug and play, there is a word template 
for you. It's just got dummy elements in it. So you just literally put your words in, put your photos in and captions and you're all done. So that pretty much sums up for today. That's the key reasons why I would suggest write a feature article over a book um, to start with. One, number one is it's so much easier. Um, number, it's quicker. And number two is great if you're building your confidence with your writing. And number three, there's just not as many moving parts. Uh, you know, I want you to take away from today, I want you to marvel at how fast and how exciting it is to finish a life story feature article and then to share it with your loved ones, friends and family. These articles really are transformative. You will be amazed. Now if you'd like to know more, I've got all of this on my website. It's foreveryoungautobiographies.com slash feature article. You'll find all the links and all more details over there. And of course, if you'd like the feature article guide, it's Forever Young Autobiography slash feature article guide. You can't go wrong. Now, while you're at the website, leave me a comment. Are you going to give this a try? Or what's your feelings about this? I'd love to know. So leave me a comment. Now, earlier I mentioned about a free bonus. It's the free sections to the Your Family Story system. Now this is the exact system I used when I was writing my grandmother's book for her. So if you've done your feature article, you want to do a little bit more, you've got a loved one who's got a terrific life story that you think needs to be recorded, celebrated and shared, this is a great uh, freebie for you to just get, get on that path to, to start you know, getting the stories down. So I'll leave the link for that and also on my website. So head over there, foreveryoungautobiographies.com. So that's pretty much it for today. I'd love for you to follow, subscribe and like the show. And I'll be back again soon with a new topic. So until then, happy writing.